bed. This just looks so funny because her bed is just levitating. <laughs> oh, that's right. I wanted to plant some stuff. Oh, crap. Let's do that. Let's do that now. Wait, what is this? What season is this? Oh, winter. Oh. Okay, this is summer. Okay. Uh, plants. Oh, you're. She's already gonna do that. What? Oops, I didn't mean. To. Yeah, plant this bottle. No, don't do that. Um. That there. Oh. It just says sage. A musky purple herb leaf. Uh, hmm. Oh, good. Oh, that's nice. You guys all, you'll hang out or you, you, you take turns. <laughs> take turns. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is so good. We got taro root? Okay, I guess we can plant that. Kind of like uh, a beach thing, but whatever. Plant. Gosh, we we do get a lot of seeds in those packets. We always get a ton of mushrooms. Okay, good. You leveled up in that. Good. Oh, we can plant some trees. I thought. Oh no, we didn't get flowers. That's right. We did not get flowers. We got, we got these uh, apple trees though. Apple trees are good in the garden. All right, so after she's, okay. Um, you're kind of triggering me with how you planted them so erratically. <laughs> no, I know it, it spawns like that. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Yes. Acid. Oh no! Take your vitamins. Build up that natural immunity. That's that's how I am. I mean, like we've all been good uh, since this whole thing, like everything started. Whatever over what was it? Maybe like two years now or something like that. Like we've all of us in the very beginning had a small little bug. Like literally a day of just you know sniffles and coughing that was it and i mean ever since then uh yeah nothing we just like i said we just i make sure to take my vitamins every day and like I, you know i make my own my homemade soups and stuff like that um get you know i make sure my, my kids they have regular you know bed they have a bedtime routine um you know, my little ones, they take naps still. I mean, you know, I'm homeschooling, so it, it makes it easier with, like, my little kids. Uh, Ian's doing good with homeschool, too. He's doing awesome. And it's just, it's been good. We're, we're excited about Thanksgiving because uh, my parents, they got the turkey. Well, they got the turkey last year. Oh, did I buy the turkey? I think I bought the turkey last year and my mom cooked it. And like, you know, my husband and I, we, we had it at our house. So we, we did like all the other stuff. Um, I think, yeah, my brother and sister-in-law are coming over this year too. But, um, so anyway, so this year my, my parents like, oh yeah, we'll get the turkey. And my dad, you know, he, he, he found this, this place that this young or this this um single mother with two kids she has this whole farm and you can actually look it up at, uh possibly it's called a sterling farm or something like that but anyways <laughs> it's just funny because she, you know she raises pigs and and um cows and she has like she does all of it you know and she you know she has this, her own whatever slaughterhouse and or it's not a slaughterhouse well whatever it's called a uh I forget, it's a funny word. But anyways, 
she does her own, you know, meats and stuff like that, fresh, you know. And he's like, oh, it's it's only uh, it's only seventy bucks. Okay, he said. So he paid he paid fifty dollars down to hold the turkey. And we're like, okay. So I <laughs> come to find out, my mom she she like she looked at it, the site or whatever the the bill is up. She she goes, oh my god. She said, Ursula, guess how much the turkey the turkey is. And I go, uh. 80? No. I'm like, 100? No. I'm like, are you serious? She says, $150 for a bloody turkey. A fresh turkey. <laughs> and I go, holy crap. I was like, because he said an extra large turkey. And I was like, well, how big is this turkey? I said, geez, mind you, this isn't even cooked. This is just a fresh, I mean, it's good that it's a fresh turkey, you know what I mean? There's no hormones, there's no whatever. But my mom's like, well, I better not screw up this turkey. I says, no, you better not. <laughs> but I was like, we will be eating every single bit of that turkey on Thanksgiving. Don't you worry. <laughs> Whatever's left, I will be using it to make something. <laughs> like soup or whatever. <laughs> so my dad's like, it's fine. <laughs> It'll it'll just you know it's it's it's, it's gonna boost the economy. I said yes, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so yeah, I just I, I thought that was I thought that was pretty uh, pretty fun of me, pretty pretty fun of me, pretty fun of me. <laughs> yes. So, um, oh, and for my and uh, my dogs. So, I managed to. Well, I think did I post pictures? I don't remember. But, um, I did get my dog, Raceland, because I, I adopted a male dog, like, months ago. And I just got him fixed, I think it was a month ago. A month ago? Yeah, a month ago. And he's doing really good and stuff like that. He's, he's, he's putting on weight and everything. Um, oh my gosh, what do you want? <laughs> hey, London, it's me, Knox. No way. Do you want to go out on a date? No, I really don't. I just, I want to get this stuff done, buddy. You know, I just, not, not right now. Um, oh, we're already friends with you. Oh, I should have said yes. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so he's doing really good. But what, I, what I've been doing is I've actually been feeding them. Um, I've been making my own food for the dogs. So I use my Instapot. And I've been cooking, like, brown rice. What the heck am I looking at? Oh, it's the tree. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I was looking at. Um, let's, let's go for it. Let's go, let's go out really quick. So I've been, yeah, using my Instapot, cook brown rice and sweet potato and one can of spinach. Because if they have too much, they can actually have kidney failure, which is crazy. But it's also good for them. So, yeah, you just got to balance it out. But anyways, I make that and then I use I was using just the canned chicken white chicken meat with uh green beans like raw you know from the can raw green beans carrots and sweet peas yeah and blueberries I had blueberries so oh and they love it so anyways wait, what's this did they change this did they change this uh, we're friends with you, friends with you. Okay, we need to be friends with... No, I don't like you. I don't like you. Um, so anyways, I, I, I put it like in little separate things. I'll have to take a picture of it sometime and, and, and show you. Here's, here's a good turkey recipe. You gotta let me see it. Oh, I'll check it. I will check it out after stream. It's being goofy. Oh, ooh, with bacon. Wait a minute. I gotta... I don't know why it won't let me. I'll check. I will check it out after stream. Thank you, hon. Oh, crap. What did I just do? Oh, no. I didn't do anything. Nope. Nope. What did I do? Okay, we're just chatting. Is she flirting? Wait, are you flirting? Stop it. Stop flirting right now. But anyways, yeah, so the dogs... I feed them. I feed them at least six cups. No, five cups of food a day. 
So, because they put in these little, like, cutesy little jars. Well, they're, like, they're actually ice cream containers. <laughs> they're plastic or whatever. And I give each of them one and a half or one and a quarter a day. So it's, like, two and a half cups in the morning, two and a half at night. And they absolutely love it. Because I was like, you know what? I just don't want to give them any more, you know, crappy dog food. <laughs> Cause I just I just feel like this is better. Cause, but anyways, but we just got it's so awesome. My my husband's coworker, I guess he hunts every year. He goes and it takes these people on like a hunting thing in Canada because they have an overpopulation of um. Oh, I can't vote on this yet. Oh. Oh wait, when do I vote? Oh, Friday. Okay, so. They have an overpopulation of wild geese and they, you know, they, they hunt, they get a ton of birds and stuff like that. Well, he asked my husband, he's like, oh, do you guys want any, you know, cause they have dogs and they, they feed the, they actually feed it raw to their dogs. So like, yeah, we'll take it. I was like, heck yeah. I was like free, free meat, you know, sweet. So we got like, like, like a, a, a kindling bag full of bags of, of meat, goose meat. Which is great. Can you stop calling me? Like you're such an annoying boyfriend right now. Stop it. And it's pretty. It's pretty awesome because they. Oh, when it, when he brought that home, you know, so like the, the, they needed to be frozen. Um, there was you know obviously some blood on the bags. The dogs were like going nuts. Their noses were up in the air. Going. Of course, Lorana. She's a hunting dog, so she's like, "What is that delicious smell? <laughs> Let me have it now." Because <laughs> before I was like, "Wait, no, he kills geese. Oh, that's horrible." But now I'm like, "Oh, wait." Free meat? Sweet. <laughs> Free meat is sweet. I don't know, that sounds weird. <laughs> Just a little bit. Alright, can you, uh, recycle these plates? Awesome. Can you look in this... Can you get out of here? Like, I want to look in it, too. Ooh, I wish we could search this trash. That would be awesome. Goose meat. Yeah. Oh yeah, they they do. They, they go ballistic when they smell it. <laughs> They're just like, oh, because like I. So what I did was when I, once I got that and it was you know they were all frozen. That's a little bit my Instapot. As I would take a bag, like a like a big Ziploc baggie full of the frozen meat and just stick it right in the um, the pot. Put enough water in there to you know cover it, um, and cook it. You know, and then which is is quick. And then once it's done, I take it out, take the meat out, I shred it, stuff like that. And then it, I leave the juices in there though. And that's what I actually cook the brown rice in now. And oh, they love it. They're just like, yes, mommy, give it to me. But I, I hope Raceland puts on some more weight because he's such a skinny boy. Like he he just has this. Like, Lorana has you know she's I mean, she's healthy she's not overweight nothing like that she's just a really like muscular dog so she's got like you know her frame is like this you know what i mean am i, am I in frame here yeah her, her frame's like this you know where his is like this and it goes in <laughs> so his where like say his hips would be he has no hips at all <laughs> he's got like this bony butt and it's like it's so, and his tail it's like a, a weapon that thing it's wagging all the time and then if you're near it it's like he, he'll, he'll go over near the kids he'll just get all excited his tail start wagging and then liam will be like Mason, stop it hitting me <laughs> so funny oh he's such a good dog i just love him he loves the kids whoa whoa, whoa what are you doing don't throw that away oops no, put that in inventory, because then you can recycle it. Or No! Oh, why did you do that? Rummage. Going through trash. This is our life now. Going through trash. Nap and dumpster. No, don't do that. Put in inventory. Don't touch my trash. <laughs> don't touch my trash, please. Yes. I said, oh, wait. What's wrong with you? Oh. Dump wait. What did it say? Dumpster what? Dumpster Dove? This dirty birdie may have found some amazing treasures, but she still can't help but taste a tinge of regret. Oh, gross. Oh, it's not my... Wait, what did you find? Oh, wait, let's recycle this. 
Oh, she found another die. Awesome. Let's go home and make some candles. Put them on Plopsy. Make some money. Yeah, right. <laughs> Excuse me? Um, oh yeah, it's free love. Well, I didn't vote for that. Recently bitten. Okay, that's... That is... Good. Yeah, you scare him. Get get away from me, buddy. Um, she's like, I don't really feel like dealing with you right now. Grim die, alluring and mysterious. This die reminds Final Destination. Oh, Hound's Tooth die. You either love it or you hate it. <laughs> this looks like someone fished it out of the trash. Yeah, that's exactly where it was fished out of the trash. <laughs> okay. Wash hands. Yeah, you, you probably should wash your hands. Brush your teeth. Wash your hands. Brush your teeth. And then you turn the page. Uh oh. <laughs> Raceland. <laughs> He, he won't be the first one to bark unless he sees the cat. If the cat comes downstairs, he is like, I have to smell that thing right now. So my cat's... Peanut has been sleeping up in my room anyways because she's old and stuff like that, which actually, it's a good thing she's upstairs because when I took her to the, um... When I took her to the, the pet co for her, you know, checkup and stuff like that before I, I got the dog because I had to make sure all my animals were all up to date with their shots and stuff... Um, they said that she has a small heart murmur and I was like, well, she, she goes from my bed to down the stairs of my room to eat and then to the cat box and then back up the stairs. So I'm not really concerned too much. <laughs> she says, oh, that's good. But now Medea, my speedy Gonzalez cat, uh, she is so fat. She used to be so lean and stuff, and now she is so fat. Oh my god, she really is. She just has this punch. I think I'll have to. I'll send you a picture of her, and um, I'll send it to you in a message um, on uh, Twitter, uh, a PM. That's what I'll do. Cause it's <laughs> she's just, like I couldn't even believe it. I was like, holy crap, what happened to you, Medea? You are just so, so big, girl. <laughs> she just, I'm like, looks like a stinking tumor. It's not, but she's just, she's just putting it on, just packing it on, really. Yeah, you eat that, sweetie. I know you're still feeling crappy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that stupid vampire came in here and bit you. How dare he? Let's buy, um, buy some of these. Yeah. Make a candle. Wait, can I? Oh. Dipped candle. But isn't this the same? Wait, why are there two of Oh. Wait, can I make a oh. Is it all the, oh. Oh, I can't. Wait, 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 can I not use those dies? Oh, are they empty? Oh. Is it, are they empty? Well, why? If they're empty, why doesn't it say? That's weird. I don't know why it doesn't say if they're empty or not. Hmm. Oh, you are. Ah, uh, that sucks. That, that's that's like um my my nephew well like my my sister-in-law and her family she has four kids as well um her and her husband well he got a, he got a good job offer in Tennessee so they we, we had them over um for like a, a, a big cookout and family get together and stuff like that um it was just them my parents, 
my husband and, and her mom and her husband um, were over and my brother and stuff like that. So it was like close knit, you know, it wasn't like friends and crap like that, but crap like crap. That sounds so savage. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like the close, the really close relatives. But anyways, we had, they were all over and because of my two dogs, like she, she can't visit or she can't really visit because of all my, you know, my animals and stuff like that. Um, cause Jax and her son gets really, really sick, like really bad. Like he gets really congested instantly and stuff like that. So I told her, I'm going to clean my house. Like, like times a thousand, you know, the more than usual and stuff like that. So I did. Oh, vertical garden flowers. Which one? Oh, is it this one? Let's look at these. So I cleaned it so much. Like I, I swept, I dusted, I vacuumed, I washed all the floors, I washed the walls, I took all the curtains down and washed them. Um, and I took like the dog had a, a do her dog bed. Like like literally, it was it was literally like a, a recliner. Okay. So I took all the covers off it, washed that, put it in a bag put in the garage, you know, and, and that way there wasn't any of the, any residue or whatever, you know, any little hairs or something like that. <laughs> and I had the dogs outside, stuff like that. I was like, I want to make sure that you don't have any allergic reactions. Of course, it was a nice day. So the kids were able to go in like the pool and stuff for a little bit and be outside, which was good. Um, but yeah, so they, they moved to Tennessee, but yeah, it was, but they had, because Peanut, my cat, I actually got her from my sister-in-law because I remember she was saying she had Peanut before she even had, you know, Jackson and her kids. And she was like, when we, when we first got a house, we got out of the apartment and got a house. She was like, oh my gosh, she's like, I feel so bad because, you know, Jackson, he's having a hard time at night. He always has to use the nebulizer and stuff like that. I said, well, we have a house now. I said, we can take the cat. And she's like, oh, would you? And they said, and then you could still see her and stuff like that. So that's so ever since then, we've had her um, for, I think, three, three years now, four years now. It's been a while. But and I just love her. I mean, she, she is such a sweet cat. Ah, One oh, no. Uh, oh. Oh, that's too bad, hon. Well, you're, God bless you. That's that's so sweet that, you know, you're still looking out for this little cat. I know that they, they're, they're a little grouchy and stuff like that, but they, they appreciate you. I know they do. Gotta take care of these little critters, you know? I mean, I have... I think my neighbor down the street, I think they have eight cats or something like that because they kept you know be a stray cat like okay let's let's take it in you know oh wow see we had a cat okay there is hope because when we lived where did we live i think we lived in well we lived in towns and like a million years ago it feels like which it kind of was a million years ago but anyways my mom used to feed this cat which we thought was a you know a, a feral cat yeah stray whatever um and she fed what, what do we call him um mao we just called him mao well first we thought mao was a girl <laughs> okay and because just he he just seemed like like was real he was really like sweet like I, I don't know how to describe it like she, he looked like a girl because we ended up finding it was a boy I'll tell you I'll tell you how we did that um so just like oh now he was just so cute and stuff like that and like my mom kept on you know honestly every day giving giving him food and just, just go meow meow her and then um I mean she did this for a long time I think I think it was. A couple of years or something like that too and then finally when it was like we were gonna have a really like according to the almanac we were gonna have a really bad winter 
and we're in towns and it seemed to be it, it like the temperature would drop like 10 degrees it, did, it didn't matter like if, if you'd, i'd be in one town and then be driving home from like work this when I, when I was working at a factory um it seriously would drop 10 degrees <laughs> from where it was and anyways so she's like you know what i gotta i have to get him i have to because he's gonna die like if he's out in the snow and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> Right. <laughs> so she, she, that, that's how I thought. So she took, she managed to make, like, she got a, um, heart, whatever trap thing. Yeah. And, um, she caught him. And she managed to somehow, to the point where, he was actually like kind of used to her, so he wasn't he wasn't attacking her or nothing like that. Um, you know, she was feeding him something, like and he actually finally came over to her and she, and uh, let let her pet him and stuff like that. And then we like, okay, let's take him to the vet, make sure you know, see how. And we were joking, we're like, yeah, let's, it's, and then we brought him to the vet, and, and uh, we th again, we still thought it was a girl. And the vet, she's like, all right, let's see how many. Uh, maybe we can figure out how many babies she's had. And they come, she turns the, him over and it's like, oh, he didn't have any. <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> so then we had now and he was such a sweet little boy. And um, he we don't know. I think he was he wasn't too old. He was I forget exactly how old he was. I was a kid. So. But he ended up I mean, he ended up dying, you know, of natural causes, like of old age. But he was not out in the woods. Uh, he was not, you know, in some scary whatever, you know, environment or something like that. He was at home. And I think, yeah, he was in his little cat bed. He So, you know, yeah, oopsie, exactly. <laughs> like, whoops, sorry, ma. I didn't mean to uh, ooh, gender stereotype you. <laughs> but, I mean, he just, he just acted like a little girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Um... God, this is too funny. Oh, boy. All right, so let me just look at my sim here really quick. All right, so. 18 days until you age up. Well, that's, I mean, I don't really care. That, that's, I'm not really worried about that too much. You have three friends. Okay, good. So that's good. She needs two more so she can complete one of these. Uh, is she close with anybody else? Let's see. God, Raj hates us. Let's see, best not no, not really. They're kind of eh. Oh my gosh, what do you want? I th whoa whoa whoa! I threw you a bachelorette party, London. Um, <laughs> we're not engaged. <laughs> is he trying to hint to something? I think he is. Let's celebrate before you're locked down. serious oh my gosh i'm dying this is okay i'm gonna go to it because this is hilarious okay so i don't know if, if, if you saw one of the one of the videos i'm gonna talk about it um i don't remember what stream it was but when i was playing off camera and i was trying to do the selling <laughs> selling her stuff and i was like okay let's let's see what this is is like right and this the stripper was actually related to her. It was her great 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 grandson or something. And I'm like, no, just no Sims. Why? <laughs> I was like, hilarious. Okay, so watch this, right? So I think it's it's so funny that my boyfriend it's like, oh yeah, I look, I, I got a bachelorette party for you. Let's, let's, I got strippers. Like, what, where'd he go? Oh, okay. I guess he's like, yeah, I'm just bringing you here. Oh, okay. Well, let's um, let's <laughs> let's talk to this this <laughs> fine gentleman. Um, what's up? Let's do a, a respectful. <laughs> this guy's eye makeup. <laughs> oh no. Oh, wait. Stop. 
Oh my god. Miko Ojo is an exotic dancer. <laughs> okay, well, we must introduce ourselves to you. Oh, she's cleaning. Good, that's, that's a good trade <laughs> to have. Who's this? At event. Of course, you would be at this event, wouldn't you, Sergio? Why do you look so angry at me? What, who's this guy? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh. oh my gosh, it's another exotic dancer. <laughs> this is so funny. He looks so happy to be here. Oh my god. <sighs> oh my gosh, I think after this event, I'm going to have to go to bed because <laughs> I'm just like, ah. <laughs> but I am going to stream tomorrow night. For sure. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night because, you know. It's fun. Um, what time is it for you, actually, uh, Lori? Because I forget time zones and stuff. Because I know we we just we just went back uh, an hour. So actually, can I change the lot trait here? Can I? Uh, can I do that? Yeah. Okay. It's romantic. Yeah. Clothing optional. Oh, let's do that. That that'd be perfect. <laughs> Sims man. Let's do convivial. No, not teen. God, that's awkward. Let's do convivial. I love how conv oh well it's itself uh, alphabetical order, so. Oh, oh okay, so you're just an hour behind me. <laughs> I just think this is so funny. Like <laughs> this is hilarious. Wait, are you one too? Oh no, she's at event. Okay. He's going over Sergio. Hey, what's up, big boy? <laughs> Wanna see my tattoos? <sighs> yeah, he like brought her here and then he was like, well, I'm out. Bye. I mean, obviously that'd be kind of weird. Now, I will say, I have I did not have a uh, bachelorette bachelorette party for before I got married to my husband. Uh, well, again we we eloped, so. But I wouldn't I wouldn't have done it like that either. I just think that's so weird. Like that's just so like messed up, you know? Oh God. Okay, no. Can, can you stop? It's so loud to me. <laughs> That's an exotic dancer too? What? Why is Sergio so angry? So angry. The mixologist is like, yeah, I'll talk with you. Sure, let's, what's up? <laughs> oh no! Why? Why did my girl have to do it first? Clothing optional. London is like, yep, I'm gonna take the high road and just just go with the flow here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well I think that's a good spot to um to end it at. <laughs> God. Dang it girl, what are you doing? <laughs> um <laughs> That's a good spot. Okay. Well, Let's uh, let's put clothes back on. Oh gosh, why don't you put something nice on? <laughs> like, jeez, don't have to be naked. Gosh, girl, have some respect, please. Again, The Sims, but you know, um, <laughs> I know where right? it's like ah, <laughs> look at uh, she looks fabulous, doesn't she? She looks. This is London. This is this is my um, my Sim. A not so berry sim, the one that had the she had the blue hair and or the green blue hair and the green blue lipstick and stuff, and that's all I did was I just changed her hair, and her makeup, and a couple of her outfits, and that's the same sim. Like I think I just love her, but yeah. But um, I think that I'm gonna end it there just because it is quarter to one for me, and I just I gotta get some sleep. Um. I gotta go. I'm going to church in the morning and 
Re, uh, I gotta, I gotta repent for my my Sims sins. No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I hope you and everybody and anybody who watched this video has a fantastic day, uh, evening, night, whatever. And um, I just hope. Oh, of course, anytime, hon. But I just hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day and a wonderful and blessed weekend and everyone stays healthy and um, take your vitamins, you know. And uh, oh, I'll share. And I will see you in the next stream video or whatever. All right, guys. Bye. Thank you.